I just finished steaming the onions and the four different colored peppers. That's going to be for uh, the ham fries. I'll put them in the freezer. So next I'm going to work on the ingredients for the white sauce pasta dish, which is going to have some baby portobello mushrooms, some uh, regular button mushrooms, some uh, shrimp, which I already peeled, chicken, which I have to cut up. I'm going to start out with uh, slicing up these. Now, the great thing about confessing now is that mushrooms are the same. <laughs> <laughs> my deck this year is uh, instance. I got an herb garden on my deck. And plants, tomato plants, pepper plants. Uh, indoor plants. Pepper plants. Some flowers. They don't look too good. The sun's beating them up. That has the herbs in it I'm using in this dish. We've got chives and parsley and oregano and sweet basil. This planter, we got some more basil and some cilantro. I was always taught that you need to chop up your fresh herbs to release the oils. Otherwise, they won't impart any flavor into the dish. Okay, I had to go put my bandana on. It's getting hot in this kitchen. I'm gonna uh, Got the shallots ready to cut up, but I haven't used these for a while, so I'm going to give it a taste. A uh, shallot is a cross between a, a garlic and an onion, and it's got a pretty purple color. But I'm going to give it a taste to see if I want to add any more garlic. Tastes a lot like a spring onion. And I'm not tasting a lot of garlic, so I think I will add some garlic to this dish. I always have fresh garlic in my fridge. I use fresh garlic as much as I can. And for those of you that don't know the trick of how best to get your garlic ready for a dish, let me show you how. After you uh, cut the ends off, put your knife flat, smash it. That paper will then peel right away from that garlic. So easy. Smash. And then that makes it easier to chop up. You don't have garlic flying all over the place trying to get it chopped. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make this a chicken or salad. And uh, I don't have the money. Funds from donations to get the more salad wine. So. Just brought me this one night. This is a uh, Magic Blaze Red, Bill Bell's 10th anniversary wine. So I'm going to use some of this in it. I'm going to read you the label. Located in the hills, overlooking the town dump, the Bilbo Winery offers arguably the third or possibly the finest wine produced in Belgium. The lesson that Magic Fate Red comes from vines lovingly tended to by workers who are probably not illegal immigrants. The grapes are crushed by the feet of current year food hikers 
which Thank accounts for the wine's yeah, unique right. flavor. Jane says the success Unusual of the aroma food and the occasional toenail in the bottle. Lasting programs Magic Blaze Red complements beef, chicken, meat lovers pizza, Raymond, and Snicker bars. The Great As with all things Bavilion, satisfaction is guaranteed. As long as your standards aren't terribly high. Let's uh, of modern American poverty check this out. A, a woman's face or a child's little bit for the dish. Forty percent of American children are born to single mothers, and, and a little bit poor. for the cook. Maria Kinshawn says that in the modern healthcare system, the people with the most challenges have the fewest resources. And we put them in a position where we expect them to work in jobs Wonderful. that don't have. Wonderful. That'll work great for the dish. Usually don't have anything like that. So while I was opening that bottle of wine, I think my chicken is done. So I'm going to take that lid off because it created a lot of liquid. I'm going to turn it all the way up to high. Because I want to cook that liquid off. And let's put some of this wine in there. Yeah, that's just about done cooking down. A little taste test. Delicious. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, shrimp next. So again, some uh, butter and some extra light virgin olive oil and the shrimp and since the shrimp doesn't take very long and we neither do we want the shallots nor the garlic to burn because it's in the pan too long I'm going to put both of those things in with the shrimp Heat up just a tad. So we want this to go quickly. And a little bit more uh, Bilbo wine in there. Give it some extra delicious flavor. And uh, some for the cook. And the last item for the dish mushrooms. Now that might, might look like an awful lot of mushrooms, but. So they cook down. It'll be about half that much. Stirring is about the only problem at this point, but I just wait a while to start to stir. Okay, you can see how the mushrooms have cooked down a bit. So I'm going to give them a stir. I've got room to do it now. Oh, I'm going to add the uh, chives the cilantro. See if I can toss that around a little bit. That all blended in. So at the end, getting the mushrooms done, this is how many mushrooms we got. You can see how deep that container is. So it looked like a lot, but it's really not that much. It takes a lot of mushrooms to make put some mushrooms in a dish, doesn't it? So there's the uh, ingredients for the uh, white pasta sauce, which will be made later. So don't anybody worry if they plan on coming helping to cook. There's still lots to do. And the dishes are done. The surface is wiped off. The stove is clean again. Oh, I just have to deal with the floor. Yay.